Hey guys, Brian here from five to go It's that time of year again. You guys are heading out on spring trips, summer trips. Maybe you're starting full-time life. I don't know, but what I do know is that every RVer needs water. And that's what we're talking about today. Our partner Camco has sent us a brand new Taste Pure water filter that is guaranteed to make your life of getting water cleanly and safely into your RV better. But we're gonna talk about this in just a minute because I like to do things in order. So I have laid everything out that you need to get water from that spigot over there into your RV, nice and safe and with as little fuss as possible. So we're just gonna start at the beginning, which is the spigot. The very first thing that I attach to my spigot is a splitter. These are very inexpensive and they do a lot of work. And basically the reason I use these is because all the RV stuff goes on one side and then this is open for whatever else you need to use it for. If the kids wanna fill buckets up with water, you've got a spot. If you need to wash the dog off, you've got a spot. Now you might be saying to yourself, I have a shower thing in my water bay in my RV. Trust me, this is better. So get yourself a splitter and then we'll build on off of this. The next thing that goes on this splitter is a water pressure regulator. Camco sent us an adjustable, let me show, oops, the French side. This is the English side. Uh, Camco sent us an adjustable water pressure regulator. And we have been using one of these for a long, long time. Uh, they just sent us a brand new shiny one, so thank you. Uh, so what this does is it takes whatever water pressure is coming in from the campground and it reduces it to the pressure that you set it to. Now, newer and bigger and more expensive rigs are built to have higher water pressures. If you have a little trailer or a little pop-up or a travel trailer, you need to look and see what your pipes can take. So in our first trailer, I ran 45 PSI. In this, I run about 60 because this has a little bit better water piping. Uh, so the adjustable water regulator allows you to do that. So these are super handy. And uh, pro tip, do not ever, 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 that's four evers, hook up to a campground water supply without a pressure regulator. You could either have a big fancy adjustable one like this, or you can have an inline one that is just set to a pressure. But if you don't, you will regret it because I have seen campground water pressures north of 100 PSI and that is too much pressure. So number one in safety right here. So the next thing you need is a water hose to get from the spigot to the wet bay in your RV. Uh, so Camco sells a bunch of different styles and there are a bunch of different styles on the market. Uh, so these are the two main ones. You have these more rigid hoses and then you have flexible hoses. So a rigid hose looks like this. It, it's basically what you think of when you think garden hose. Now the main thing about RV hoses is you don't wanna go to the hardware store and just grab that green one off the shelf for five bucks. You want one of these because it is drinking water safe. You want all of these nice little symbols and all the certifications on here. So there's no lead, there's no funky materials, there's no nothing in these. You need a drinking water safe hose. So this is one style that they sell. This is the more rigid, not uh, super packable, flexible style. Now this one gets nice and flat when it doesn't have water going through it. And it's a lot easier to pack. And just to show you how much easier, this is a 50 foot, hose, and I keep putting the French side on there, <laughs> English side. This is a 50 foot hose. This is a 25 foot hose. And look how much, I mean, the 50 foot hose is smaller than the 25 foot hose. And this one actually comes with a bag that you can wrap it up and store it in. Now, speaking of storing hoses, uh, just one thing real quick. We've done videos in the past where we've talked about water gear and storage and all of that. And I get so many comments on one video in particular from a long time ago where I was, I was on camera rolling up one of these flexible hoses and then I just put it in my wet bag. And everyone's like, oh my God, Brian, what are you doing? What's going on? You need to screw the ends of your hose together when you store it so bugs don't climb in. And I'm like, no, I'd rather have a bug climb in that I can blast out with water than to seal it up and have a nice, hot, moist environment inside my hose where mold and mildew and other gross things will grow. So please don't screw the ends of your hoses together when you store them. Moving on, the hose gets the water to the wet bay. And next up is this beautiful new filter. This is Camco's new Taste Pure filter, and this was built as an upgrade to the blue filters that you normally see. Uh, actually, Aaron just pointed at one. Our neighbor has one right there. See, that is the previous generation of the filter. This is the brand new Taste Pure filter. This is a six stage filter built into the thing that is that size. So let's go ahead and pull it out of here. First of all, one thing I really like is Camco sends these little uh, 
I guess they call it a strain relief hose. And these are really nice because a lot of times you'll have a water connection like this. And then if you have something rigid on this, there's just a lot of pressure. This has a spring and it's a really rigid little piece of hose. And it just allows a little bit of relaxing off of that. So these are handy. They send these out with every filter. And now let's get a look at this guy. Uh, so this is the same size as the previous blue filters that you are used to seeing, but this is the brand new Taste Pure filter. Uh, this is an all-in-one six-stage filtration, and it filters out bad taste, odor, sediment, bacteria, and a bunch more. So you're not going to have anything like chlorine or iron or aluminum going into your RV and messing things up and making your water taste funky. Uh, one thing I also recommend, even if you don't, drink the water out of the tap in your RV, you still need filtration. You still need good filtration like this to keep all of your plumbing working nicely. You don't want a bunch of buildup on your toilet. If you have a water dispenser in your fridge, that thing's gonna get all messed up. Your faucets can get all gunked up. So you absolutely need a nice, good multi-stage filtration system in your RV like this new Taste Pure filter in order to get nice, clean, pure, tasty water into your RV. So that is on the other end of the hose in the wet bay. And then I actually have another short little hose in there that you'll see in a minute that gets it connected up into the spigot. So we will move on from here. And uh, on the other end of that hose, you're going to find something like this. This is a brass elbow. And I have these in my wet bay, you'll see in a minute, that actually I use them as a strain relief. So it's kind of like this, but it, I just like things to come out and immediately turn. And these little brass guys, I've used them on all of my RVs and they just are great. It keeps things from hanging out at a funky angle. It helps keep things close from the closing door. Like you don't have a big filter sticking straight out of your rig. So elbows, super, super affordable and super useful for a lot of things. The big thing to make sure with elbows and you're gonna buy the Campco one so you already know it's safe. But if you're buying anything else, just make sure it is all brass, all lead free, all drinking water safe. So elbows, super, super handy. Uh, and then after that, that's pretty much it. Uh, everything that gets water into your rig is right here. But I have a couple little accessories. Uh, one of these is a water pressure gauge, and this just goes in line with your hose and it will tell you how much pressure you have going on. Now, the main reason that I bought this is because we've had a lot of discussion on our Discord server about filters and hoses and splitters and all of that, reducing the amount of pressure that you have available going into your rig. So I bought one of these and I did my normal setup and I had the adjustable regulator out at one end and I have the water gauge or the pressure gauge at the other end right before it goes into the RV. I see no drop across the hose, across the filter, my splitters, like all of that stuff. I see the same numbers on both of these. So you don't really need one of these, but if you're curious, if you wanna do some testing, Links down below, grab one of these. This is also Camco. Mm -hmm. Another thing here is an accessory that you may or may not need. My RV does have a gravity fill option for my fresh water tank, and that's what this is built for. And this is much better than the uh, garden hose that I bought and cut 18 inches off of or whatever to be able to show. It's hard to explain, so I will show this later on the other side of the RV. Last up, is a, a very well used and well traveled bottle of Camco drinking water freshener. This is to keep your fresh water fresh, your fresh water tank. Like you add this to the water in your fresh water tank according to the directions on the back here. And it keeps your water from getting funky and like sitting there and getting mildewy and uh, mildewy, that's not a word, mildewy and moldy. Aaron's laughing at me. Uh, so you definitely wanna have some kind of treatment for your fresh water tank, especially if you're not using it very often and water sits for a long time. So that, is all of our Camco water gear. And we're going to take all of this and we're gonna to go to the other side of the rig and then I will show you how all of this works. All right guys, everything is hooked up over here. So let's just run through it real quick so you can see what I do. So the water spigot is here and I've got my splitter. This side is open. I've got my water pressure regulator here. I've got it dialed in to just shy of 60 PSI. Then I've got my fancy Camco hose that runs all the way in through the back here. And that comes up into my wet bay into the Taste Pure water filter. And then I've got this uh, like accordion kind of shower hose for a reason, and I'll tell you in just a sec. I've got a little cutoff here for that same reason, and then the elbow that goes into my fresh inlet. So right now, if I do this, 
there's water in the RV. But the reason I have this shut off is because I have a gravity fill for my fresh water tank, if Aaron wants to show that, right here. So what I can do if I need to fill my fresh tank is I can just cut this off and then unscrew that. And then with the new, uh, let me show you the old. <laughs> Here's my old hack job garden hose that I would fish into there. So the, the Kempo one is uh, much nicer than that. All right, so now I can just pull this cap off, stick that in there, and then fill water. All right, that's it. That's got a cut off here. I already have enough water, so I don't need to let it run. So that is everything that you guys need. Everything is available from Camco at the links down below, or you can just go to 5 togocom slash Amazon and look at all of our newbie gear lists. And uh, it's pretty obvious why 80% of that stuff is Camco because they make really good stuff and they make everything you need to get water from there to there. <laughs> so thank you again to Camco, our sponsor for this video, and go get your own Taste Pure water filter and we will see you on the road. Have a good one.